So it's no secret that TikTok and YouTube Shorts are two platforms you really need to take advantage of in 2023. And I'm going to be explaining the methods that I actually use that led me to be successful towards the end of 2022 and into early 2023. I'm going to give you guys a few engagement tips as well as proven methods of success that I used on my own TikTok and show you what my TikToks were looking like before and what they were looking like after. For example, in the last two weeks alone, I've gotten over 7 million views on my TikTok compared to the previous 70K that I had achieved before that. But if you guys do enjoy these videos you want to support me make sure to like comment subscribe it helps me out a lot and with that being said let's get right into it so the first thing that i need to mention to you guys is make sure that you minimize the dead space in your tiktok this is going to include any space that you're not actually talking in your videos as it will lead to the viewers becoming less interested in your content and that could lead to them scrolling clicking off the video or going somewhere else and you don't want that because tiktok prioritizes viewer engagement for example if you have a 30 second video and it gets 90 percent of it viewed versus a 20 second video that gets 100% of it viewed. Tesla, the algorithm is really going to push out that 20 second video with higher engagement because it knows that your audience is engaging, whether it's commenting, watching longer, or liking more. And it's going to really push it out to new viewers, leading you to grow your audience. So you really need to focus on making the duration of your video count and really picking and choosing and being cutthroat in terms of the content that's actually included in the final version of your video. The next thing I'm going to be covering in terms of viewer engagement is you always want something for the audience to focus on. For example, if it's a video like this and it's just my face cam, chances are people aren't going to really want to watch because a people don't know who i am b my face is probably not that interesting and c people nowadays have a highly reduced attention span and you really want to have a lot of things going on in order to keep those people engaged and watching your videos some common tactics i use for this in my own tiktoks are subtitles stock footage pop-ups as well as screen recordings and if you really go check out any of my videos i have all of these methods included in them and i feel like that's also a main reason that my tiktok has been so successful recently let me quickly focus on one of those main things and that's actually going to be subtitles Trust me when I say this, when you're making your TikToks, please subtitle everything because it's really going to keep the viewer with you. Whether it's hard for them to understand or it's just something to keep them engaged that extra two seconds longer, please, please, please use subtitles. They're going to be so worth it. Ever since I started subtitling every single word in my TikToks, I've been achieving crazy success in all of my videos. And I feel like it's that ground base level step that you need to take in order maximizing your viewer engagement. The next element of catchy media and really diving into the audio side of things, please, for the love of everything, you Use a song that people are actually going to be engaged with. So I have this one song called Aces that I use in all of my TikToks. I'm not going to use it in this video because I don't want it to get copyright claimed. But if you literally go to any of my recent TikToks, it's going to be the sound. And this sound is actually doing very well on TikTok. It just kind of has a feel to it that matches the quality and vibe of my videos. And I really like it. And I feel like that really helps my video with viewer engagement as it's just a sound that kind of immerses the viewer into the video itself. So my next tip is really experiment with audio and see what kind of fits the vibe of your video videos that you're making. My second main category that I'm going to be talking about is kind of finding your niche and content within that that's actually going to engage the viewer. You want to pick something that can actually have some sort of catchy call to action. Mine, for example, I made a video on the worst gaming setup and that video is on 4.3 million views. And in this, I talked about iShow Speed setup and at the very end, I got them to guess who it was. And I think that video has almost 30,000 comments on it. So I feel like that really helped with actually engaging the viewers and really get that extra comment out of them to push it in the app. So I would suggest that you find some sort of content that you can upload and really create that engaging question at the very end that's going to make someone want to comment. So the main focus that I have in all of my TikToks is I try to make it a guessing game where I make it not too obvious, but a little obvious so they can kind of get a hint of who it is. And then getting that comment from 2000 people, that's just going to push the video out like crazy. And that's why I found so much success recently in all of my TikToks that I posted around those type of things. So you should really focus on creating your content around an engaging call to action question at the very end that's going to want to make your viewer take that extra step step of engagement towards pushing your video on the algorithm a bit more. But if you guys do have trouble with incorporating these in your TikToks and YouTube shorts, I highly recommend that you drop us up on my channel because I'm going to be actually going over an editing tutorial in the next week or so on how you can actually include these in your videos. But with that being said, if you found this video helpful, you want to support me, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out a ton. Make sure to go check out my TikToks. It's going to be the first link in the description. And with that being said, I will see you guys in a new video on the channel. Peace out.